Hey guys, welcome back to Life on Greenwood, and this is my first haul. My first haul for 2020. No, my first haul for 2020. My first haul for 2020. Wow, that sounds weird. But if you want to see what I got, then just stick around. This is my first thrift haul for 2020. That sounds weird. But anyway, if you want to see what I got doing this thrift haul, then just stick around. Okay, guys, I went to Habitat for Humanity. I said I was going to show you what I got while I was sitting in the car. And I thought I would get right back to the house and show you what I got. Well, it's several days later and I'm just showing you what I got. So let's go. Hope everyone is doing well and, and the new year came in great for everyone. And we're going to have a prosperous, healthy 2020. It's hard to say that. Anyway. This is the first item, which is this knit suit. Comes with a sweater. It's like cream or off white with blue buttons, I mean, with gold buttons and uh, navy blue trim. And it comes with a skirt. So this is a knit skirt that it comes with. And this is from Habitat for Humanity Restore. I have never bought any clothes from Habitat for Humanity, but um, I was surprised to see that they had clothes in there. Uh, I just never noticed it before unless this is just something new. I don't know. But anyway, I just never noticed that they had clothing at Habitat for Humanity before. But... These have all been washed. This is Poshmark. This is definitely going on Poshmark. So I've already washed these and a couple of pieces I had to do some dry L on. You know, that's how I clean uh, <clears throat> my stuff. That's dry clean only. This coat. This is from Habitat too. This is coat from Romans. It's a size 4X and that's the reason why I picked it up is because plus sizes do pretty well on on Poshmark. So I picked this up and it, besides that it looked like it was new. It's a it's a puffy jacket all the way down. It zips and snaps and it was in excellent condition. The hood is detachable. And this is for fake fur, faux fur, for all you out there who are concerned. It has slip pockets. As I said, this was in excellent condition. I did wash it already. And <clears throat> I've already listed it on Poshmark and had some, some people who had some... Uh, some interest by the time you see this it may it may already be sold so we'll see but 4x great shape great shape too bad this wasn't in my size but you know what are you gonna do take what you get all right this I would have loved if this was in my size this is a Ralph Lauren jacket. How about that? Love the leather buttons. The buttons on the front seem to be in good shape. Can you see that? 
love the suede on the sleeves. Look at that. This is also from Habitat for Humanity. It's a little wear on the buttons on the sleeves though, but, but other than that, a little wear. But other than that, it was an excellent condition. And I already sprayed this down and threw it in to the dryer with a dry L sheet. So it's looking good, smelling good. Again, Habitat for Humanity. Can't believe this. This was just five bucks. Everything was like, everything I got from Habitat was five dollars. This sweater, which I don't know if I'm going to keep or, or put on Poshmark. I'm really not sure. But this was new with tags, and I did, um, I did the dry yell on this as well. Just sprayed it down. You guys got to get yourself a dry yell kit. Sprayed it down and threw it in with a dry yell sheet because I didn't want to mess up you know, like the tags and all of that. And this is by a uh, charter club, which is a Macy's brand. It's a size large. Now, if I keep this, I might keep this. I don't know, but it's new with tags. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but it's a nice thick cable knit sweater. And it's purple. So that was cute. Yeah, I, I do like that color. I do like the color. Now this was really a surprise. This jacket. This was a surprise. It's a short jacket. Brown. It snaps closed. And when I saw it, I have to clean this. I used some leather cleaner on this, but I got to use some, use some more leather cleaner to get that off. But I thought I got all that off last night. <clears throat> I got to wipe that again because it had some green paint like all over here and I did wipe that down. I'm going to wipe that again with some leather cleaner. Um, I thought it was, I thought it was pleather. I thought it was pleather, but I thought it was cute. I just like the design of it, but I thought it was pleather. And as I'm wiping it down last night, I went in to look before I, before I started cleaning it, and it said that it was 100% leather. The body was 100% leather. And I go, really? I thought it was pleather. I wonder if you can see that. I guess 100% leather. I thought it was pleather. And here it said, somewhere up here I saw something about leather. I can't, somewhere. Somewhere else I saw something about cleaning. The cleaning was, oh, over under here it said, leather, professional leather clean only. I thought this was pleather. It's so soft. It is so soft. Um, I may keep this. I may keep this. This is an XL, extra large petite. So I tried it on, fits great, so I may keep it. But for five bucks, I figured I couldn't pass it up just because of the, I like the design of it. So, so this is my first haul, first thrift haul for 2020. Oh, by the way, I did get something else. I was home in New Jersey and I did stop by the casino and there's some outlets in these casinos, the casino that's in um, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And I did get two items from Wilson's Leather. And you guys are familiar with Wilson's Leather. They sell all kinds of, they've been in business for forever. But this Wilson's Leather outlet had uh, had a sale. And I just want to show you those two things. Not thrifted, but some good buys. Hang on a second. So these two things I got from uh, Wilson's Leather outlet my bag first thing was this um, Karl Lagerfeld 
dress. I just like the design of this. How cute is that? I'm gonna stand up so you can really see, take it in. It's purple too. Look at the collar. This is like a throwback to me for like the, I don't know, 60s or something. I love it. The sleeves. really like that collar. Oh, I didn't know these buttons open. Okay, that opens, but it does zip in the back. That's a pretty purple color. I thought that was cute. I'm gonna have to go back to that Wilson's leather place because I I've seen, seen them there before. Uh, the outlet I've been to Wilson's leather, of course, and bought some things, but I've never gone into this outlet clear. I think they call it an outlet clearance center. Let me see. I think it says Wilson's leather outlet at Sands, Bethlehem. The Sands Casino in Bethlehem. Um, but this leather jacket I saw that I really liked. I didn't see the price on it, even though they're all they all have tags. She said something like they're all um, whatever the tag says. It's seventy percent off or something like that. But I didn't see anything marked on this. Um, but I liked it. Now, I did notice some stains here. I don't know if, you, if it's coming across some light blue stains here. But I figured I could clean that with some leather cleaner and a couple other stains from probably rubbing up against something. But I figured, let me just see how much it costs. When I got to the counter, it was like $11. So I said, no problem. I'll take it. For $11, I will, um, I will clean this. And it fits really nicely. Look at that. It fits really nicely. Look at the sleeves. How cute is that? So I don't know what it rubbed up against, but I'm going to try to clean it for 11 bucks. And um, I'm going to try to clean it with my leather cleaner. I just like it. I just think it's just sharp. Even though that was a thrift haul. This was my first thrift haul for 2020. I hope you liked it. And um, don't forget, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And join the family because I do thrift hauls all the time. And for my returning friends, thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. And 2020 is going to be a great year of some major, major thrifting and some thrift makeovers. So I'm really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to some major, major thrift hauls and thrift makeovers. And I'm so excited about it. So thank you guys. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.